remember being young when you're doing the music and, and, and you love what you're doing and you're trying to get that either that first deal or you just want that record out. Pretty much, do you think you would have signed anything just to get your record out back then? Um, I know I, I didn't have the business sense of it. Yeah, I... Like I said, you know, I would have, I wouldn't have signed anything. I would have negotiated a little better, not a whole lot better, a little better. Yeah. So, hindsight is twenty twenty. But I would have negotiated better. But the thing about, uh, you know, the music industry that I, I found, you know, you can negotiate all you want, and then, you know, how long is that? You know, it could be five months. It might be five years. So as soon as you make that negotiation. It's changing as you speak. It's like traffic. Right. You know, you're observing your surroundings, you're looking, you're checking your mirrors, but you're moving and you pick speeds and spots. You pick a lane and, and, you, and you maneuver. So looking back um, as far as like the deal, I think I got a, a really, really good deal for who I am as a person because I was a kid, mm -hmm. you know? I was a kid and um, I was able to build a name, a brand off of that one opportunity. So... It, I may have not obtained the immediate fruits of my labor or, or my art and my craft at that time, but now my cup run is over. <laughs> you know, now it's the the um, I'm I'm wealthy in so many ways than than just cash. You know, so that the experience was really the deal for me. I can say that, but I would have you know dollars and cents. Yeah, I would have negotiated a little bit better. Right. Right. But you know who know? I knew. I did, all I knew. I want to make a record. We sell some records. I'm gonna be on stage. Mm -hmm. So you know the fame thing was the uh, was really my my hurdle, the uh, the attention. And that's what I mean. I think most of us would have, uh, you know, uh, unless you had a, it's, it's like the NFL. Unless you got a lot of teams trying to scout you and get you in there. Mm -hmm. You know, your first deal that somebody throws at you as far as here. Yeah. Because I think in your mind you think, well, I either take this or maybe not another one might not come through, you know? Yeah. And so this might be my only chance, so let me go hit it either way. Yeah, that was, uh, you know, it came up. Um, it came up, and I really thought about it when I was talking to the kid. I can't remember who this was, who it was. But when he asked me, it's like, when he told me, he said, don't sign with Luke. Uh, I'm thinking to myself, yeah, well, we know the stories about, you know, Luke and how he handles business. But really, you got a record deal for me? You know? So I thought about it all the way home. And I was thinking, okay, well, let's get in. Let's get in first. Once we in, we'll, we'll, we'll maneuver. But once I got in, it was, you know, I didn't know really how to maneuver because I was in. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, oh, boy. Um, and so after a while, I began to, you know, do things over here, do things over there. And... But you know, yeah, that first deal is uh is uh not always the greatest, but it's other opportunities in that deal. Oh well, you know, Luke is Luke, but everybody we pretty much interviewed, you know, when we talk about deals, it hasn't just been about Luke; it's been about a ton of different people, and they all, like I said, they all have their good and their bad experiences with all of them. Yeah, because you know, you had managers, um, you know, back then that were. It wasn't just a record company. It was, it was whoever you had to do business with in the music industry, you know. Um, and I don't, you know, I don't fault anybody. Who knows what he had to do, what he had to do to get his star. I don't know his whole story, you know, um, and what it took for him to maintain that, as well as the other artists. So, it, it's uh, you. Back then, a lot of us didn't look at it as business. Uh, we we were in love with the art. Yeah. Pretty much got you, man. All right, so um, the bass that ate Miami, uh, we talked about the sound. We talked about the 12-year-old, the preteen experience. We talked about the business. What you're doing now. Yeah, we're talking about what we're, what I'm doing now a little bit. Um, that's everything I could think of. So. Would you ever sign a major deal again? Like, yeah. Other? Yeah. I was signing. Yeah, well. I was signing a deal now because the the thing is like now, listen. Let me get a piece of that. I don't need the whole thing. Let me get a piece of that. You get your piece because I know okay. I, I know how to do with my piece now. I really you know it. I know yeah. how to invest and take care of my. Piece. Yeah, I know how to do that now. So let me get a piece of that, and that way I'm over there with you too. 
whether it's name wise, product wise, whether it's financially, we we connect. And if I want to break off, I break off. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I, uh, let's do a deal. Let's make some money. And then if we can help some people out along the way, let's do that too. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's. Yeah. I, I feel the same way. Yeah. So yeah, I, I'll I'll do a deal here. Deal there. I think everything's a deal in life anyways, right? Yeah, you, you're going to give up something to get something else because if you keep taking stuff in, you're not going to have room to put, you know, you got to keep it flowing. So if something comes in, yeah. something got to go out. Right. So, right. and that's that's the law of nature. That's just the way nature works. You can't so. get 100% of the pie. No, nah, where are you going to put it? Yeah, exactly. You can't hold it forever. You got to, you, know, you know? You'll be full real quick. Yeah, you'll be full <laughs> real quick. Can't move. Now you look like food. Yeah. So... All right, bros. Um, I think that's it. I think we got it. Everybody falling asleep over here. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, that's it. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it has been real. Uh, again, I'm Lawan Love, and this is the base that ate Miami.